Hello everybody, welcome back to the Robert Cheek Show. I'm your host, Robert Cheek, where your personal best happens every day. Again, it's still September 17th, 2009, Thursday night. Just got back from the gym and just want to talk about a couple of things real quick. So, um, I had a great time training with some of my friends, Ed and David, and we were just chatting as we were pounding weights around, you know, 100 pound dumbbells, uh, doing some bench press, some incline bench press, some decline bench press, some uh, dumbbell press, flat dumbbell press, and we're just talking about a lot of stuff. You know, I haven't been to the gym in months. These are good friends of mine who I typically only see at the gym because of our schedules and because of our interests and where we're at and what we're doing and, and all that kind of stuff. So, so this was a time just to catch up a little bit. And I started thinking about some ideas that I've talked about, you know, when I'm in some previous shows. In the past, I've talked about sometimes we lose sight of a bigger picture, something that's more important. We get hung up on these little things, these little things that end up being petty, arbitrary, insignificant in relation to the overall picture. And sometimes we battle with ourselves. And I find myself doing that fairly, fairly regularly, which is bizarre because I'm a motivational speaker, I travel around the country, I give inspirational talks, that's kind of what I do. But obviously even the motivational speaker needs to be motivated and lifted up and inspired and encouraged and supported and all those kinds of things. And today was one of those days where yesterday was a huge high, you know, because of my book release and all this kind of stuff and all the feedback that I was getting and all the, I guess, pats on the back or whatever, you know, that's always feels good. But just the fact that I, I completed something, was able to talk about it, was just an enormous high, just a, a sense of, of pride and having important people in my life give me phone calls and congratulate me and emails, congratulate me and, and all the, all the appreciation on Facebook, uh, that, that stuff's great. You know, um, even without any of that, I still would have felt really good about what I did, what I accomplished, where I was with that project. But, uh, you know, days change, you know? Uh, some days are up, some days are down. I mean, I have every reason to be super excited today too, and I am, but I found myself battling with myself today. And that's one thing I wanna talk about because we, we do that all the time, right? Maybe we're not progressing in the gym like we'd want to. We kind of look in the mirror and we're like, you know, I'm half the person I used to be or I'm not as good as my prior self or I'm getting down on myself because of this or maybe I'm lacking motivation here or how come so-and-so is excelling and I'm not and uh, all these different things that we kind of play a game in our head and, and try to talk ourselves into something or out of something and I was in one of those situations today. And again, maybe it sounds strange as someone who's a motivational person or inspirational person to have to go through that, but that's life, you know? Um, that's life, that's being human, we all go through that. And I've said this before, and I don't know if I say it in my writing, maybe I do, but I've certainly said it on camera in one of the previous Robert Cheek Show episodes, that any time Robert Cheek battles with Robert Cheek, or it's me versus me, I've gotta lose. I may win too, but I have to lose. If it's a me versus me, I have to lose in some way. Because that's the only way, unless it's a tie. <laughs> unless it's a tie in something, you know, in whatever battle it is that's going on in my head, or in my heart, or in my life, or in, you know, in, in any area of my life. If it's a me versus me, I'm gonna lose. And today was one of those days, and I just uh, decided to talk to a few friends, and I talked to my good friend Brian, BVP. He's kind of my person, he's the guy. He's the go-to guy for me. Because he's, he listens. I mean, that's 60% of communication is listening, if not more. So much of how we interact with people, how we understand people, how we understand ourselves is through listening. And I can always count on BVP, my friend Brian, to, to, to listen and, and, and help me when I need to be lifted up or when I need some sort of affirmation or encouragement when I'm not feeling you know, like this all the time. And today was one of those days for nothing to do with my book or my bodybuilding or my career or anything else, but just something in my head that was bothering me that really made me battle with myself, just Robert versus Robert all day long. Uh, you know, I, I communicated with Brian for a little bit and then I said, you know what, I gotta get to the gym. I would planned to go anyway, but I said, I, I just, I need some sort of sanctuary, some sort of getaway. Uh, and I was happy to log into Facebook and see David. My friend David mentioned that he's going with, at five o'clock with Ed, uh, two great guys. And I said, that's, that's what I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with, when these guys are gonna go, I'm just gonna talk to these guys because I need somebody to talk to and I need somebody to listen. And 
I think we all go through that no matter who we are, right? No matter if we're a counselor, if we're a therapist, if we're a motivational person, if we're a mentor for someone, if we're a role model for someone, if we're a student for someone, if we're a friend, a partner, um, a spouse, whatever, we all go through that. We all go through those times we battle with ourselves. And sometimes we lose sight of the bigger picture and we make decisions based on emotion that impact that, that bigger picture. And we look back at the little decisions that we made at the time that was fueled by emotion, we, we say, you know, why did, I, why did I do that? You know, I shot myself in the foot. Or I, you know, um, I made a mistake because I didn't think things through clearly enough or smartly enough. And I think we all go through that and we really need to think sometimes. So if you're battling with yourself, if it's you versus you, remember, you're going to have to lose. That's just mathematics. That's just the way it is. You're going to have to lose in some way. So find a way before you make some sort of decision based on emotion to take a step back, look at the bigger picture and see what really matters. Is this thing that's bothering you or that's in your way or an obstacle in your life or something that's um, obstructing your eventual achievement, is it that big of a deal right now? Is it that big of a deal compared to where you're headed or what's going on in the bigger picture of life? And think about that and talk to somebody if you need to. And when you recognize that in somebody else, offer to listen. And that's what I love about some of the people in my life right now who give me that opportunity. I like to talk, I'm known for talking. And it's so great when people are there just to listen because you don't wanna go you against you because you know what the outcome is, right? So just something to think about. I, I was thinking about that today and wanted to bring that topic up just because that's something that was just real in my life today. And you know, I feel, I feel good now. I got the workout in, talked to a few friends. I'm back on the Robert Cheek Show, back in action, making it happen. You know, I'm helping my personal best and your personal best, and so everything's good. Everything's good. I've got a lot of work to do tonight, so I'm gonna get back to it. This is kind of a late night, late night Robert Cheek Show, but just wanted to do one more video today to check in with you and make sure at the end of the day, you're okay with you. Because that's what matters most. You've gotta be okay with you at the end of the day. And I've gotta be okay with me. And right now, I'm okay. So, all is well. So thank you for watching The Robert Cheek Show and thank you for your support. Always, always appreciate that. Even if there was one person watching, I would be very, very grateful and express that gratitude. If there were zero people watching, I guess, uh, you know, I would just, I'd still get something out of it because I'm able to express myself and hear myself think and uh, improve myself. So thank you for watching and thanks for the support. I really appreciate that and have an outstanding day and outstanding weekend. And whatever you do, get out there and hammer it and nail it until you get it. All right, have a great day. See ya. Bye.